Hi, this is Maria, and I've been having a lot of fun posting Halloween videos, and we're down to the wire. It's two weeks till Halloween, and so I'm trying to put up my craft videos. And I wanted to be sure to share this one with you, because it looks like a lot of fun, and super simple, easy, and I'm all about quick and easy crafts. And so anyways, I picked this up at Michael's a couple of weeks ago, and it's by Creatology. It's called Foam build -a -Scene. This one has a Halloween theme, although I've seen others at Michael's throughout the year for the different seasons, so you can actually do any of these. I just happen to have this Halloween one today. So it looks like all the pieces are here. You don't need any glue because they're self-adhesive. And so it looks like there's a staircase scene and there's a haunted house. Anyways, it looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? And so then I thought, well, what am I going to do with these once I'm through putting it together? I decided to get some magnets, and these are also the self-adhesive magnets. I found these at Joann's, and they probably have them at Michael's and other craft stores, too. So anyways, let's get started, all right? Okay, so I went ahead and opened up the package, and I want to show you what I found. So you may have to help your kids. Um, if you have really small children, uh, you may have to help them a little bit. Okay, so this is what I found. Okay, up here on the top, there are these little things here you need to punch out. So, you can punch them out. Let's see how easy they come out. Oh, these come out really super simple, okay? And so, yeah, that's super simple to do. I think a child can do that for sure, especially if they have small hands. And... So I'm making a mess here. That's okay, I can vacuum that up afterwards. Well, and up here on top, let's see, oh, okay, it's perforated there. So we can just pull that out. Or if you want to use your scissors, you can take your small scissors too, and maybe even just start it with your small scissors. Because you don't want to tear it, because that would be disappointing, right? So I'm going to, I'm afraid I'm going to tear it. And so I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut around just a little bit, and then I'll pull. Oh, I'm so scared doing that. <laughs> okay, I did it. Yay. So just sort of look at the piece and see if it's easy to punch out. That was pretty easy. The same with this one. This also has a perforated area on top. And this is the other thing. On one side, I noticed, let's see, I don't think I need to punch anything out on these pieces. But on these pieces, I do. And so I'll show you the bat. I punched out those eyes. And this one still needs their eyes punched out. So anyways, let me show you how I did it. You can try doing it with your fingers. But that wasn't working for me. So what I did, I think it needed a little help. So I just took my small pointy scissors. So this is, I mean, you wouldn't want a child doing this. Um, I would do that for one of my grandkids. And then just sort of poke it just to help it. And so you could see it from the back. And so that, that looks a lot better. Let me see, it's not quite out yet. So I got one eyeball out. And let's go ahead and do the other one. You could probably use a toothpick or maybe even a, a little pin or something. So anyway, so you get the idea. I'm still going to have to work on that a little bit. This pumpkin, his little eyes were easy to come out because this pumpkin was a little bit larger. And same with the mouth. I'm just sort of pulling on the mouth very gently. And because I don't want to rip that. There we go. Yay, got that done. And the nose is really small. Let's see. I think I got the nose. There, I got the nose. Yay. Okay, I peeled some of the paper in the back, but that's okay. The nose is out. And then you'll have to do the other small one too. So, okay, so one more thing I want to show you. The skeleton was perforated, and so I was able to get them off pretty easily. As you can see where he was um, on this piece of foam and I just took him out very carefully because look how thin his bony arms and legs were. So, and this still needs to be taken out. Gosh, so I want to be super careful on this one. 
So, but yeah, you know, just help your kids with some of this stuff. You might want to look at all the pieces first. And so let's go ahead and start putting this together. So let's go ahead and start peeling the adhesive off. Oh, that was simple, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's see. It looks like we're going to put that there. See how simple that is? I've never done one of these before, but I've always looked at them when I've gone into Michael's and I think they're just really cute. Okay, so I'm going to put the mummy on next. And let's put him at the top of the stairs. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the skeleton here at the top of the staircase. <laughs> He's so funny looking. Super funny. Okay. That is like so super simple and fun. Gosh, I wish they had these when I was a kid. Let's put the pumpkins on. Okay, this is way too fun. I think I'm going to be buying some at Christmas time. Okay, and we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and finish these up, and then I'll be right back to show you the end result. Ta-da! <laughs> these were really fun to make, and they didn't take that long, and they're just so super cute. The one thing I did get a little confused about, but remember, I do confuse easily, um, there was a couple of these little wiggle eyes, the little wiggly eyes, and I couldn't figure out where they went. And I thought they went on this little vampire because he had the larger eye and the smaller eye. And I guess you could put them there. But I finally realized I think they go on the ghost. And then there was a little belt for the, um, for the vampire. And it came in a small little package like this. So anyway, so I did need to get out my tacky glue and just put a little bit of glue on the back of the eyes because they weren't adhesive. I was really surprised. But otherwise, that was really super simple to make. And I really love them. I'm definitely going to go back and get some for Christmas and get some for the grandkids, too. I think they would really enjoy making these. And so I have my magnets here. Um, I said they were adhesive, but they're not. They do have adhesive magnet tape. And I was going to get that, but it cost a little bit more. So... I think I'm going to go ahead and glue these on and just give them some time to dry. It's a warm day out here today. Okay, so here they are outside. They're still drying. I think they are pretty dried, though. They've been out here for about an hour. And so I used tacky glue on the four magnets on the outside. I just wanted to see how well they would stick. And then the ones in the middle, I just experimented and just used a little bit of the uh, hot glue. I was a little concerned that maybe the hot glue would melt into the foam. So, okay, so I'm going to go put them on the fridge. Okay, so here they are on our refrigerator door, and I think they're really super cute. The magnets are holding up fine, and I just love them. They're just super, super cute. So, okay, I think I'm going to be making more of these at Christmas time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.